coming to you from a different vantage point today. We're on top of the Peterborough Green Up office here on Elmer Street, and I'm joined with Dan Beard of Global Point Energy and Paul Bennett of Ashburn and Realty. Um, Paul will talk to you in just a second, but Dan, we're here because we've got some solar installed behind us. Tell me a little bit about um, what, what's here. Well, actually, we have uh, two different technologies uh, installed here on, on the Elmer Street building. We have the uh, photovoltaic 10 kilowatt uh, system and as well a, uh, a solar thermal system, which is a preheat for the uh, hot water used for the uh, tenants in the, in the building. The uh, photovoltaic uh, on the uh, 10 kilowatt side is set up to uh, feed into the uh, grid on the uh, Ontario uh, Power Authority uh, program, and uh, he'll, he'll uh, gain 80 cents. 80.2 cents per kilowatt for each hour generated uh, back to the grid. Now, is this something that a lot of uh, businesses in the city are, are going with? Sure. We've seen a uh, significant increase in, in interest in the uh, 10 kilowatt systems. And above, we have a number of customers that are doing FIT programs as well, which is larger than the uh, 10 kilowatt. But it's becoming more and more commonplace. There's a lot of, uh, lot of interest and a lot of uh, people getting involved in the, uh, in the, uh, cool. in the photovoltaics so that uh, they can get the return from the, uh, from the grid. Let's talk about the MicroFit program for a minute. That's the program that Paul yeah. took advantage of. How does that work? Well, basically, uh, Paul will have this installation uh, done, and uh, it's connected back to the grid. So the Peterborough Utility Commission will come in and, and uh, hook up the uh, system, and it'll feed back to the grid, and he'll earn 80.2 cents per kilowatt hour generated. Now, there's a bit of a different system behind us, um, hot water. How does that work? The hot water system is, is a little bit different in the fact that it doesn't generate electricity, but it preheats uh, water. So you collect the sun's energy. It is uh, transferred uh, through a, a closed-loop glycol system down to his existing potable uh, water where it's preheated. So typically the water from the, uh, the city comes in at 48 degrees. Our system preheats that water up to uh, 120 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit so that basically it replaces the electricity required to heat the hot water for the building. So there's significant savings uh, to be had. Paul, why did you decide to install solar? Um, well, I think there's two, there's the two different technologies Dan talked about. I think we've got two different options there. One is saving and one is producing, right? So okay. the, on the thermal side, we're saving money by obviously preheating the water. And then on the PV side, we're producing energy and getting a bit of a payback for it, but also obviously producing and helping out the environment. So what advantages have you seen from installing both systems? Um, the, the PV system here behind us is just, in, just finishing right now, so we're hoping to get it finished in the next week or so. Uh, the solar thermal system has been done for quite a while, and uh, we've noticed major savings in terms of just the overall usage, the electrical usage, so it's, uh, it's been a great benefit. Is this something you'd recommend other people in the city? Definitely, yeah, and I would hope, that being that we're downtown and on top of the Green Up building, I would hope more, pe more people take a, take a look at it and take notice and actually, you know, t take charge and do stuff like that. It would be great. All right. Well, thanks to both of you for joining me today. Thank you. And we'll see you again next week on the Green Update. The Green Update is brought to you by Peterborough Transit. Come on board with our on-time services. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.